Good early morning. We are not on the homestead right now. <laughs> I'm headed into Tucson to pick up a few things for our Casa de Caca project, which is going really well, by the way. We just need a few more things. We need some concrete. We need some more wire. Guys, this is a big, big project, and that's a really big dream. This is a very big project, and we are getting very close to my parents being here, which means we are going to be flying through this, hopefully. <laughs> That's the goal. And I just wanted to take you along on our day because not only are we working on the bathroom and several other things that I just wanted to share with you, and I know we haven't gotten back to the house project, but I'll explain why throughout this video. Just a quick trip to Lowe's to grab 30 of the 50 bags of concrete that we need for this project. Maxing out the truck's load with the 30 bags. Can't get a whole pallet delivered until the end of next week. So making two trips up to Tucson is what it is. So lots of things that we need for the future, you know, a double, <laughs> a double axle trailer. I could have got all the supplies that we need in one trip, but you know, it's just another expense that we don't want to make right now and can't make right now. So, multiple trips it is. Also, just a quick pet peeve with Lowe's is you have to pay for a pallet. So instead of just giving us a crappy pallet, uh, they made their people load 30 bags by hand into my truck. Could have just had it on a pallet, shoved it in with the forklift, but no. You need to pay $27 for a pallet. Do better, Lois. Come on. You would have saved your employees so much effort, time. And for what? $27? Guys, come on. Now we just need to get back to the homestead and uh, try to not be angry at Lowe's for making their employees work so hard. Didn't need to. Does anyone else feel like you just are constantly having to take a deep breath like multiple times every hour to like get through life? <laughs> I feel like this is something new. Um, it's like, I don't know if it's like this time of year or if it's my age or if it's the stress levels but I'm just like constantly taking a deep breath and like saying to myself that it's gonna be okay. <laughs> uh, I know I can't be the only one though because I've talked to so many of you who have reached out about BetterHelp and this video is sponsored by BetterHelp and I cannot say thank you enough because they continue to sponsor our channel and it has made such a big difference in my life and I think that it would make a difference in anybody's life who is going through hard times and just needs someone else to talk to. You know, we can talk to our spouses or our significant other uh, anytime, but sometimes you just need someone who is like a third party, you know, someone who knows what they're talking about and someone who can help you work through problems and if you just go to betterhelp.com slash tiny shiny home you can get on their site answer a few questions and they will match you with a licensed therapist usually within the first 48 hours it's really quick easy super easy to do and it is online therapy so you can talk to a therapist over video chats I still haven't done that. I'm still typing to my therapist because I'm just not 
comfortable yet getting on video chat with her. So hopefully that will come soon. But if at any point in time you aren't comfortable with your therapist or you'd like to change therapist, you can do that at any time with no additional cost. Therapy has been really good for me. It's really hard, but it's so, so good. And one of the things that I love the most is I can send her a message throughout the week anytime I'm having a hard time and she'll respond. That is a big, big thing because usually I'm just talking with her through chat, through typing um, on Tuesdays. And, you know, come Thursday, if I have an issue that I'm like, I need to talk to her, I can just send her a message and she'll read it and she'll reply. So BetterHelp has been huge for me uh, this year. So I'm really hoping that if you are struggling, you'll give BetterHelp a try. Just go to betterhelp.com slash tiny shiny home. And for the first month, you get 10% off. So it's worth a shot, right? We're not going to get better unless we ask for help. And uh, I'm really glad I asked for help. So thank you, BetterHelp. Something else that has been helping me so much is uh, surrounding myself with positive messaging. So, oh, that was a dust devil. Uh, I am listening to really good podcasts. I am trying my hardest just to like keep feeding myself all these positive information. And one way I'm doing that is by listening to this podcast. You guys, if you like podcasts, please check out Reroot with Eamon and Beck. Yes, they do have a YouTube channel, Eamon and Beck, but they also have relaunched their podcast and it is so good. They are such a positive couple. They are so loving towards each other. They work so well together, but their messaging, guys, they're doing so much good in this world. And one day I really hope that we get to meet them. But until then, we'll just be listening to their podcasts and watching their video. Now, you know, I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos. I really don't, unless I'm trying to learn how to do something. That's when I watch YouTube videos, but I do watch Amen and Beck. They're like the only channel I really enjoy watching. Guys, check them out, reroute podcast or Eamon and Beck on YouTube. Also, no, I did not get asked to talk about this. I'm just trying to mention things that are helping me get through life right now. Because <laughs> it's not all sunshine and rainbows all the time, although I wish it was. But, you know, it's life and there's ups and downs. And surrounding yourself with people that are positive and uplifting is so helpful. So check them out. I've seen the sun rise from mountaintops Slept on the wrong side of tabletops I've climbed up trees that don't seem to stop But it's home where my heart belongs And it's the same as it's always been Yeah, these roads keep us You probably saw as we drove by the house that nothing's changed since the last house since the last house video. And, you know, it's just the stage we're at right now. We are trying our hardest to fix our bathroom issue, the Casa de Caca, which we will have a full video about what went wrong and how we're fixing it. But just now that's what we're dealing with right now. And it's a lot. It's a lot of crap. So this is also a problem. Disaster. 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 Oh my Disaster. It's so bad. It's like we have no time to do anything that we really need to get done. Well yeah, we're getting ready for your parents to come. I know, my parents are coming, the bathroom's in process. I know. There's so many things going on, but also Editing video. Editing video. 
<sighs> I was saying earlier how I just have to keep taking deep breaths every day, multiple times. So, hi. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. So how is the editing going? It's okay. Which video are you working on? Meet and greet. Oh, uh, the meet and greet. Which video. is a totally different format than our regular videos. And yeah. it's, whew. It's a lot to figure it's out. It's a lot to wrangle. Yeah. yeah. Also, we did a whole new mic situation where we had different mics and trying to get them matched up is like. I'm glad you're doing this one. I have 30 bags of concrete in the truck that you also need to get out. Well, we can do that later. Yeah. Uh, I should probably eat, though. So I have to go make lunch. I don't know. It sounds like, the based on the noise of the inverter, I would say the kids are heating something up for lunch. Okay, I'll go check on them. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to show you just a little bit around here. You know, this is our bathroom. We've touched on the fact that it's not working the way it was intended. We will go into so much detail in a future video, but this is where we're at right now. Everything has been dug out. The barrels are gone. New plumbing has been installed and electric. My parents will be here in just a couple days and hopefully this will look completely different by the end of next week. It's going to be something you may not expect. More on that later. Trona has found her spot. So as you can see, we have been very busy digging so much dirt. I was telling Jonathan the other day, like when people ask us what we do for a living, we should just say we are constantly shoveling dirt and making videos about it. Cause that's what it feels like. We're just moving dirt from one spot to another. Sometimes it's just a trench. Sometimes it turns into a house, you know, you just never know. But we just, we're professional dirt movers right now. One day we'll have a tractor, I promise, one day. Something else that has happened is we have two more loads of AB mix here for the house. Guys, the house has not changed at all. We haven't done anything else to it. We're not keeping secrets from you. It's just we have a million other things going on right now. So the house is on pause while my parents are here helping us fix our bathroom. And, oh, this AB mix. We had to get two loads because coming up is our November workshop here on the homestead. Babe? Yeah? Do you think people should come to our workshop? Of course. When is that? November 9th to the 15th, 2024, right what, here on our homestead. What are they gonna do? They're gonna build Hyper W earth bags. They're gonna eat delicious food. Uh, they're gonna meet new people. They're gonna learn all kinds of stuff. I think that's all. Okay. Note to self. Jonathan, if you're going to tell people about a thing that they should sign up for, you should really tell them how to sign up. My bad. Let's try again. TinyShinyHome.com slash HyperAdobe dash workshop. We hope to see you there. Something else is going on. Jonathan got me a computer stand. Hey, thanks, babe. You're welcome, babe. Um, here's the problem. I like to use a big calendar to plan out our month because we have so much going on. I have to visually see it. I've tried putting a calendar on my phone and I hate it so much because I can't pencil it in and change it around. Which I can, but I don't like it. But now you can have the best of both worlds. Now I have my computer and my calendar. <laughs> so, thanks, babe. Welcome. Okay, I know I've mentioned a few times that my parents are coming in just a couple days. And here's something about me. Um, I used to, when I lived in a house, freak out every time I would invite people over. I would have like this major stressful, everybody clean everything all the time. 
until people get here. <laughs> and I know exactly where that came from, but I'm trying my hardest to combat that. Um, I think I've done pretty well, especially this last meet and greet. I did not freak out at all. Like I was, I didn't care what it looked like here. I'm like, this is how we live. This is what it looks like. So, you know, it's a work site. But with my parents coming in, I am going to make the area where they're gonna park a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna trim some trees and make it look as beautiful as I can, their little spot. So come with me, let's go trim some trees. Turns out while I was gone, Adelaide trimmed the trees where my parents are going to park. So I'm gonna trim trees near her barn because I can't walk through here without getting stabbed by mesquite thorns. So let's take care of it. Over the years, I can confirm that when people come over to the house, we would clean like crazy, and it was very stressful, and I'm so proud of Ashley for making progress on that front. However, <laughs> this is what we're going to be working on, and as you can probably see, it's a disaster in here. It's a little embarrassing, so I'm going to pick up where she left off, <laughs> and I'm going to clean this out and organize it a little bit because uh, Ashley's parents are going to be here in less than an hour. And that just, we can't, we can't do that. Okay. I did have somebody at our meet and greet this past weekend ask us what our uh, wish list is here on the homestead. I couldn't think of anything because usually when we're making lists like that, it's just like, what do we need to save for next, you know? So if I, if you would like to know, here's my wish list because I thought about it last night. Uh, in 2025, here's what I would like to have happen two shipping containers, and a concrete pad. Also, I would really, really like to see our floors poured in the house before we get too much higher because it's gonna be a lot easier for them to do that work if our walls aren't up. It'll be cheaper for us. It's not cheap at all. Uh, it will be cheaper though if they can do it while the walls are still low enough so that they can lean over to screed things and smooth things out but that is a lot of money up front so the best way that uh you know you could support our channel here and what we're doing is a couple ways watch this video share it with somebody that you think would enjoy watching the video the more people that watch the video comment like subscribe that's how we get paid these days guys <laughs> so we are officially youtubers which is sounds weird but that's where we're at we are youtubers and we like creating videos for you that hopefully inspire you to get outside and build something yourselves or work with your family or just you know go little rogue and see what happens <laughs> shove some dirt in some bags and build something another way that you could support our channel is being a homie. We don't talk about it often, but we do have a community called the Tiny Shiny Homies. And we have monthly plans that you can, you know, you get a couple things. It's all right here on this website, tinyshinyhome.com slash homies. You can look and see what level you would like to be at. And that helps us so much because, you know, YouTube, uh, uh, up and down. If you know anybody who does YouTube for a living, you know that you cannot count from month to month on what you're going to make, which is fine. That's fine. That's what the life, that is the life we signed up for. So, you know, if you would like to support the channel, feel free to be a homie. 
watch the videos, like, subscribe, whatever you'd like to do. Send us a note of encouragement. Guys, that means so much to us. Sometimes people email us and just be like, you know, we watch your videos all the time. We can't be homies. Totally fine. But they want to uh, just send us a note of encouragement and know that they're watching out there and they see us and, you know, they're wishing the best for us. So that helps us keep going too. So anyway, guys, I feel like I've just rambled on and on and on today. Hey, do you notice how I've turned the day around? I started out a little sad, but guess what? Things are looking up. So, oh, I'm exhausted. It's only the middle of the day, but I've got more stuff to do. I'm going to stop talking because I feel like I've just talked your ear off all day. And I'm so sorry. Uh, this is definitely different than our normal channel. But as we said, we're in the middle of so many things. Exciting things. Scary things. <laughs> but uh, we are excited that you are along on this journey with us. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you soon.